Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the second lecture of the segmentary series. In this in this lecture, we are going to see the introduction to segmentary, that how segmentary is work and what is the idea of segmentary. So let's see that. So the basic idea of segmentary is to keep for for queries like minimum in a range or maximum in a range or some of that range and so on for queries like this what we do is we we keep result of specific range so this node keeps result say range sum from L to R so this node would keep sum from array elements from index L to R now we also define its children left and right now the left children would keep the result from L to mid and the right children would keep the result from mid plus 1 to R now, and mid is defined as L plus R divided by 2 so what we are doing here left and the right children of of a node are keeping the result of half of the subarray size as that of his parent so the the subarray size of parent was say n then the subarray size of each child each child is no more than n by 2 so this this is an array for which this tree is made this is the segment tree for this array now first note the, the the root node keeps the result of index 1 to 6 so the minimum of index the minimum of all the elements from index 1 to 6 you can see is minus 3 so we have kept minus 3 here now the left child would keep the result from 1 to mid and mid is 1 plus 6 divided by 2 that is 7 divided by 2 and that is 3 so left children would keep result from 1 to 3 and the right children would keep the result from 4 to 6 now from 1 to 3 we can see the minimum is 1 that's why the result of 1 to 3 is 1 and from 4 to 6 the minimum is minus 3 that's why here is minus 3 now this would further be divided into two parts left and right so 1, 12, 1 plus 3 is 4 divided by 2 2 so from 1 to 2 the result would be kept here and from 3 to 3 that is a single element would be kept here so we can see from 3 to 3 that is only a single element the minimum of this is the same element so we kept 2 here now minimum of 1 to 2 is 1 so we have kept 1 here now since this is not the leaf node so we will further divide it and the the leaf node is the one in which there is only a single element in its in its uh, what we say range so the left and the right end of the range would be same like 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 and 6 6 so only the leaf node don't have their children because since they only got one element we cannot further divide them the rest element have more than one element so we can still divide the range so this is how you make a segment tree now uh, sorry uh, this is a segment tree for this array and how we are going to make this we will see in the separate video but we are just uh, we are just making ourselves familiar with the structure of segment tree using this structure uh, the height of the tree is log n because uh, or every time what we are doing is the whole segment is divided into two segments which are almost n by 2 so each time we are dividing the segment by 2 so each next level is having half of the elements as well in the previous level so if it was containing n at the result of n elements 
this level would contain the result of n by 2 element and this this level would contain result for n by 4 element and so on till till the last last level in which there is only a single element so we can see that since the number of elements are getting reduced by half each time the, the height of the tree would not be more than log n now we can perform queries using this segment tree suppose I want I want to find the minimum in the range from 1 to 3 and we can see the minimum in the range of 1 to 3 is 1 so let's find the result using the segment tree we have built our query start from the root node so the root node contains the result in the range of 1 to 6 but we want the result only in the range of 1 to 3 so we are having an overlap and not complete uh, this range is not completely inside our query range so this cannot be our result so what we, we what we would we would do is that we would make a recursive call to left and right child of this node and the result they would return we would take minimum of that and return why minimum because we are applying the range minimum query if we were to perform a range maximum query then we would take the maximum of these two and then return now <clears throat> we would go left and left child is containing result of 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 is completely inside our range 1 2 3 so this would return result 1 whatever is saved since we know the result of 1 2 3 is 1 so it would return 1 now this this node contains minus 3 but this range 4 to 6 is completely outside our range 1 to 3 4 to 6 is completely outside our range 4 to 6 that is there is no overlap and when there is no overlap we returns a result which we can ignore while we merge these two results so we know we take minimum of these two so if I return infinity from here I can ignore the result of this part so that is why I've written infinity from here and why we are returning from this point because the range is completely outside the range of our query so that is why we do not want result from this part so what we would do we would return something which can be ignored when we merge these two results now since at the time of merging I am taking minimum of these two so that is why it is sufficient to return infinity from this part so that while taking minimum this part can be ignored so when you take minimum of these two minimum of one and infinity is one so re uh, return result will be one and you can see that the result of the range one two three the minimum element is one now let's see something very special now since four to six when uh, we made a query on the left side on the range 4 to 6 it says it is infinity so what it means is that in the range 4 to 6 the minimum is infinity so all the elements in this range are at least infinity or greater than that so if we replace all the elements in the range 4 to 6 by infinity the array would look something like this now speciality of this is that see only the first three elements which were in our range are not infinity all the other elements are infinity so if I ask you to perform query instead of 1 to 3 perform a query on the range 1 to 6 you see if you, if you perform query operation on on the array on this array from 1 to 6 you can see the result would be uh, the minimum of 1 to 3 because these three elements are infinity which, which is very large number as compared to all other numbers so these three elements would be ignored so so ultimately what we would get back is the result from 1 to 3 so what we are doing is that if 
there is element which are outside our range we would re replace that element with infinity so while calculating the result uh, those elements would be ignored completely but since we cannot do this uh, we cannot make all the elements which are outside our range infinity and then update our segmentary it would be costly so what we do is whenever we go outside our uh, range like this 4 to 6 was outside our range whenever we go outside our range we return something which can be ignored while merging these two for example if we have to perform if we had to perform a range sum query then uh, and I, I ask you what is the range sum from 1 to 3 the range sum from 1 to 3 would be uh, 8 so what we would do is that we would first reach here but 1 to 6 is having an overlap with 1 to 3 but 1 to 6 is not completely inside so we cannot return this result we would make a recursive call to this and this and merge these two results now since this time we want range sum so 1 to 3 is completely inside our query uh, query segment that is why this would be our result and at that uh, since we were calculating since we are calculating a uh, range sum that is why at this this node would contain the result that is range sum of 1 to 3 and 1 to 3 is 8 so this node would contain 8 and it would return 8 now since 4 to 6 is outside our range this time we cannot return infinity because this time we have to take some of these two and return so to ignore the result of this side of what we would return is 0 because when we you would return 0 then these elements have no effect in the range sum of this whenever you go outside outside the query segment you must return something which have no effect on the result uh, by this these nodes so when you are taking range sum just return 0 from here so that they have no impact on the result because we have to take sum of these two and return so 0 would have no effect on the sum of the left part which is actually our result so let's see one more query in this query we are asked to find the minimum in the range of 2 to 5 uh, in the range of 2 to 5 which is this 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 and this we can see that the minimum is minus 3 so we start as always we start our query from the root now root keeps the result from 1 to 6 which overlaps with our result 2 to 5 but not this is not completely inside inside our query so we cannot return the result of this so we would make a recursive call to left and right child and whatever the result they send would take minimum and then return so first we went to 1 1 2 3 but 1 2 3 is not completely inside our query range so we would make again two recursive calls and return their minimum so we would make a recursive call to 1 to 2 and 3 to 3 now since 1 to 2 is not completely inside our query segment so we would make again two recursive calls to 1 to 1 and 2 to 2 now 1 to 1 is completely outside our range so we know for range minimum query if there is a range which is completely outside our query we return infinity so we return infinity from this side now since the left call is completed let's complete the right call and since 2 to 2 is completely inside our query range so it would return the result of the element uh, result which it has saved so it will return 5 that is the minimum of this range 2 to 2 and 2 to 2 is 5 now since left and right caller is completed we will take minimum of these two which is 5 and return 5 now so since the left call is completed for this node let's complete the right call and for the right call the range is 3 to 3 now since the range 3 to 3 comes completely inside the range 2 to, 2 to 5 which is query range so 
we will return the results saved at this at this uh, node of segmentary which is 2 and now since left and right both calls are completed we will return minimum of these two which is the minimum of the range 1 to 3 so minimum point uh, range 1 to 3 is 2 oh sorry minimum uh, in the range 1 to 3 but inside only considering inside only our query range 2 to 5 uh, or 2 to 5 so inside 1 to 3 if we overlap 1 to 3 with 2 to 5 the result would be the return result would be from 2 to 3 only and we can see the result of 2 to 3 is 2 so we return, return to 2 now the left call is completed we would go to right now 4 to 6 overlaps with our query uh, query index query uh, what is saying query range 4 to 6 overlaps with our query range 2 to 5 but not completely inside our query range so we would make a recursive call to left and right now 4 to 5 is completely inside our query range 2 to 5 so we would return the result saved here that is minus 3 now 6 to 6 is completely outside the query range so we would return infinity from here so now we would take the minimum of these two and then return minus 3 and then take minimum of these two and return uh, the minimum which is minus 3 so in the range 2 to 5 the minimum element is minus 3 now take a look at this now this suggests that the range 1 to 1 that is the first element is infinity and this suggests that the sixth element is infinity and indeed we can see that if we perform a query on this array considering first and the sixth element as infinity and I ask you what is the minimum of of the elements from 1 to 6 these two elements would get ignored why because we know all the elements are less than infinity and suppose for time being we do not know what are the values of these four elements for example a b c and d we know that all the elements of the array are less than infinity uh, up to like 10 power 5 times power 6 something like that and infinity says 10 power 10 we know that all the elements are uh, below 10 power 10 and infinity is 10 power 10 so if i perform a range query from 1 to 6 these two elements would get ignored and whatever the result i am getting would be only for these four elements that is why when we make a query whenever we go outside the range we return infinity from here so this is the basic idea of segmentary and this is how we perform query on a segmentary if there, there is an overlap with our query index uh, sorry query range and and the range of this node if this is completely inside we return the result if not then we make two recursive calls to left and the right child and then whatever is the result returned by them we we take <coughs> we combine the result from these two if we were talking about range minimum then we take minimum of these two if we were taking range maximum then we take maximum of these two if we were talking about range sum then we combine these two results and return and if we go completely outside we return something which can be ignored for example in range sum we would return 0 in range max query we would return minus 1 or minus infinity and in range minimum query we would return infinity so this was the second lecture of the series now in the third lecture we would talk about how to implement segmentary query and build how to how we can save this structure uh, whether we save it in uh, whether to make a tree for this or a binary tree with pointers and so on let's see how we can implement this thing so till then thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel uh, channel if you can